Hello Pisces! This is your love reading for the beginning of March. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. You can subscribe to my channel, click on the bell, and you'll get notifications about future readings. I will be doing a full moon reading mid-March and another love reading towards the end of March. So yeah, subscribe so that you can get notifications for when those readings become available. You can also follow me on Instagram at Lunasync. I do sort of abbreviated uh, videos of these readings for there. All right, so I've already shuffled your cards and I've meditated on your energy, so let's sync up. This is you, Six of Cups reversed, clinging to the past. This is the other, Five of Wands, recovering from some sort of conflict. This is high energy, high sort of um, disorganized, non-collaborative, energy. It's not quite full-fledged like hostile conflict, but it's a lot of people who are engaged in like testing out their, you know, their new skills and their weaponry and just like testing. It's like testing energy. Um, and it takes, you know, it's, it can be exhausting. And so this person is coming out of this energy. And if I didn't say it before, it's the five of wands reversed. We have the, the devil um, reversed and this is the composite energy so this is how your energies are blending together and this is a release from some sort of bondage it's a release from addiction obsessive thoughts compulsive behaviors um, it's really freeing yourself from some sort of negative habit pattern and then this is the insight it's the moon something will come to the surface some truth will come to the surface if things have felt like a little murky or um, impossible to see if if you've sensed that there's more that you're not quite seeing or you don't have you sense that there's more but you can't see it practically in the practical realm um, or in the tangible realm you're right something will come to the surface some hidden truth um, some new understanding you don't have all the information available to you now and that's the insight that will be the insight, potentially, when that becomes apparent, when this hidden truth becomes apparent. Let's get some clarification, though, here. We have you as the Six of Cups reversed, so really sort of clinging to the past, like nostalgia. Um, and then this other person, your love interest, or the person that comes to mind when you're watching this reading, is the Five of Wands reversed. So, ooh, this person walked away. Maybe there was too much fighting. Maybe there was too much conflict in this person. You know, it, it spilled the, this, this testing shit right here that people are doing, like testing, like I'm going to, I'm going to test you. I'm going to see if you can, you can fight me. I'm going to see if you can hold your own or, or whatever, like, um, even in a love relationship, sometimes one person will test the other um, just to see, are you going to stay? Are you going to love me? Like um, that sort of immature testing uh, energy knocked over these cups. And this person was like, you know what? I'm out. This person uh, is walking away. The Eight of Cups. What about... Um, Pisces here. Let's get some more uh, information about how Pisces feels about this or what what Pisces is contributing to this relating. Clarification card for Pisces, what Pisces is contributing to the relationship. This is the Gilded Tarot deck. Um, I will put the makers of this deck in the description below because I can't remember off offhand. I think it's Ellen Shaw or Eller Shaw that made this deck. Um, it was given to me as a gift. All my decks were given to me as gifts. I really like this one. I think it's pretty straightforward. It's like um, it's a good day-to-day -day, um, tarot deck. Boy, I don't know, Pisces. This deck is not wanting to give up more information about you. Uh, here we go. Okay. 
So, ooh, the fool. You did not take a leap of faith. You're not taking a leap of faith in the direction of this other person who has ultimately turned her back. And maybe that's why he or she turned um, their back, why they turned their back. Um, clinging to the past. I don't know about you, but um, I've been in relationships before with people who were stuck in the past. Um, still in love with other people or um, just attached to ideas from the past or relationships from the past. Like ideas on how things should look or ideas on how things should be. And sort of um, projecting that onto the next relationship. That's a difficult place for your partner to be in. I don't know if that's what this scenario is describing, but it's what... Um, came to mind um, just now. The Fool Reversed is somebody who's not taking a leap of faith. They are not approaching um, their life with sort of innocence or, um, you, know, you know, like, uh, they're very skeptical. They're very skeptical and sort of closed off. Let's get another clarifying card that speaks to what these two are contributing. So like it seems like there needs to be like the blending energies, the composite energies is that there is a release. There's freedom from negative habit patterns or negative thought patterns. Some sort of negative pattern is at play and there needs to be a release. And it could be what I mentioned before like Sometimes people get stuck in the past, and it's like, it's it's not awesome, it's not great, it's not positive, it's pretty negative, but they haven't worked their way through it yet. And so it's really, really difficult to get inside of another relationship with somebody who is in that space, in that headspace. Um, you have to approach all, not have to. Um, I don't know, just uh, relationships have a better chance. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> if you're coming from, if you're you're as much of a clean slate as possible, you're willing, you're open to love. You're willing to take a leap of faith. You've resolved some of these things that the past hurts from, um, from your past. Uh, the Three of Wands. Hmm, okay. Look at all these backs that are turned. We have this back turned and we have that back turned. Get a sense that somebody's waiting for this neg negative habit pattern to dissolve. Who's waiting? Is it the Pisces? Is it Pisces or is it um, the Pisces interest? The Pisces other? Who's waiting? And why? Good lord, that was a whole deck. No thank you. Um, let's just do one. Some clarification around the Three of Wands and the Devil Reversed, please. And then something secret comes to light, folks. That's the insight. There's information that you don't, that's not available to you yet. You don't have all the pieces of information. You don't know all of the things there is to know. Um, this may take some time. Look, we have a full moon here and we have a full moon here. We have a full moon here. Possibly around the full moon. Tune in for your love reading at the end of March. Um, Okay, clarification card, please. Let's focus. Three of Wands, Devil Reversed. One card, please. Clarify. Who's waiting to get feedback? Who's waiting for this to resolve? Who's waiting to be released? Okay. Somebody's waiting for a new beginning in love. Somebody wants to be released from this so they can start a new beginning in love. Um... You want new love. You really do. He or she wants to move toward you in this new beginning of love as well. 
feel like it's fall the ball's falling in your court, Pisces. There's something that needs to be released from the past um, in order for you to embark upon this new opportunity in love and for this other, this other significant other, your love interest to move toward you instead of away from you. She can't connect with you right now. He can't connect with you right now because you're still so stuck in the past. Your heart is closed and you're not taking a leap of faith into love. You're waiting. You're looking out towards the horizon like, oh man. <sighs> it's like a, a whole nostalgic vibe. Like, oh, it was, you know, like just feeling of loss related to the past. Having to do with a uh, queen of swords. Some passionate, fiery, creative um, personality. Having trouble letting go of. Well, I will tell you, it doesn't look like she's... I mean, she did show up. Um, but it appears to me as if she's long gone out of the picture. She's in the past. Nowhere to be seen in the present moment. You have this new offer of love coming available to you. A new opportunity. Not an offer. A new opportunity. There is love here for you. She'd like it, I think, with you. He or she. Um, she walked away because she saw that there might be too much conflict getting involved with you. moon about let's clarify the moon what is secret what's going what truth will be revealed what is this truth about that is unseen at the present moment let's see it i want to see it now what is this all about this moon this full moon we see the full moon repeated many times in this reading in the phases of the moon and the ace of cups here um no movement not working together no collaboration. Oh boy. So if you want this, my friend, you'll need to do the work to magnetize it, to process, to free yourself from past experiences, to open your heart in order to enter into this new opportunity for love. This can be changed at any time. Okay. What time have we got here? Um, let's pull an approach card. Advice. Advice for Pisces. Woo! Pisces, you've got some work to do. Advice. Oh, here we go. Good. I'm glad that dropped out pretty quick. It's the eight of otter. Or it's the otter. Number eight. Um... The otter is about femininity, okay? But it's the otter reversed. So let's, let's read about that. If the otter card appears reversed, you may be running from one idea to another without focus. This could also imply that you've forgotten how to receive and are blocking a gift from the universe with your male side. This is your gift here. It's a gift of love. It's an opportunity of love. If this is the case, you may be embarrassed to receive compliments, to have someone hug you, or to allow your genuine personality to come out. So yeah, not um, taking a leap of faith, not opening in love. Um, fear of being rejected is the contrary message of otter. Drop the seriousness on all levels and play at life so that the fear rolls off your back. And that is exactly what this fool is doing. This fool is playing at life. Realize that the only flow is the flow from the great spirit to you, from you to others, and from others back to you. Hmm. So... If you're afraid of rejection, and, and if that's why you're clinging to the past, and you're closed off, you are actually materializing and manifesting rejection in this scenario as the cards play out. You have um, this person, this love interest, who sees 
who sees that getting involved with you at this moment when you're inhabiting this energy will be quite conflicted and is turning their back on this love opportunity, the Eight of Cups, and walking away. So if you're fearing rejection, my friend, um, work through your fears of rejection so that you don't continue to call it into your life. Um, and that you can embrace this opportunity for love. This is the gift of love from Great Spirit, from you to others and from others to you. It's here for you. All right, Pisces. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope it was relevant to some of you. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get notifications. I'll be doing a full moon reading mid-March and a, another love uh another love reading at the end of March, and you might want to tune in then, um, because right around the full moon, it looks like some things are going to start to shift, and some things are going to happen. Something's going to come to light. Um, look at her. She's got a full moon. How many full moons are here? Got a full moon here. I mean, I'm going to take that as a full moon, because it's a circle. Um, we have a full moon here. One, two, three. We have the phases of the moon here. Um, four, five, six... Six full moons. So yeah, tune in definitely for the full moon reading. Um, maybe you'll get some insight um, or some support around what it is that you need to do in order to release yourself and move forward out of this negative habit pattern. All right, I hope you have a beautiful week. Until next time.